Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Pinky Miles. I, um, uh, me, I'm going to miss Linda this morning. I'm missing Linda and because uh, this is Sisters in the Kitchen. But today, it just, um, uh, she had a dental appointment. And so, she's always doing things for me. She's always saying, Mary, you know, you're not up to today or the weather's bad she don't want me to travel or or whatever the reason uh she's always stepping up for me so i told her i said linda just take today and do what you want to do and uh, go to your dentist and and just enjoy the day and let me take it today so i'm going to try this by myself um i'm going to miss her that's for sure but that's okay you know um we uh, we do things a little bit different, but we sure we work together. Beautiful. I love my sister. I love the way that we communicate and we think alike. And then there's ways that we do that we are different. But today I'm going to do. It's um. It may not be an old recipe to y'all, some of y'all, but um, it, it came from it came from years ago, uh, and it's called macadamia nut crusted lemon pie. It's a lemon pie with a macadamia uh, nut crust. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a little tickle in my throat this morning. It's these allergies, but uh, the leaves is falling this morning. I looked out the window and the le little colored leaves was just falling. And it just makes me know that it is going to be fall, even though the temperature is not quite that yet. So, first of all, we're going to start with the graham crackers. I preheated my oven to 375, and I'm going to be using this... Um, a food processor that um, is battery operated so it takes 10 whole um, sheets of um, graham crackers I've tried to get all my stuff out so it wouldn't take so long and y'all wouldn't have to watch me do things I'm going to I'm just going to break them up I'm not small just just break them up that was two and there's eight in a sleeve so it takes more two more than a sleeve I seem like I remember that there used to be more than eight in a sleeve. Well, I thought I had everything. <laughs> I thought I had everything where I wouldn't have to fumble, but I'm gonna have to get me a some kind of knife to break this open. I'm just not as strong as I used to be. Uh, I just have a hard time. I, I don't know if any of y'all are that way, but I am. I just have a hard time opening stuff with my hands, but that's okay. Hey, there's always more than one way to do something, so I'm just. Put them in here. You just, you don't use uh, any of the blades that comes with this. You just use, um, just use the bottom part of the processor. Just throw that in the trash. And, um, and then a half a cup of macadamia nuts. I just kind of scatter them around. And, um. I'm going to swap those comments so I can see if I'm, and I'm going to check them off because I don't have my sister this morning. She's um, busy. So, and then, and then a half, uh, a cup of sugar. I'm going to, and then I'm going to put my food processor together. It's, uh, it's simple, but you know, um, there's little grooves on the side. You have to, I'm going to have to probably hope. There we go. It just slips down in there. And then you turn it to lock it. And this is uh, battery operated. It's, I got the uh, battery already on there. Now I have to turn my little button on here. And, and see, it's not grinding much. I have to keep doing plus until I get it stronger. I would have done that ahead of time, but I wanted y'all to see what, um, how I've done it. Now, see, I'm trying to turn it back on, and you have to mash that little button again. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to take this off just a second because I got to, 
This is a fourth a cup of uh, melted butter. A fourth a cup of melted butter, which is a half a stick. And I'm gonna pour, whoops. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. This is a cup. <laughs> you don't, I don't need this little thing to press it down in there. Okay, all right, I told you. All right, this is a half a cup of melted butter. Uh, not a half a cup, a half a stick. It's four tablespoons. So, put that over there. And I use imperial sugar. It's uh, extra fine. And I want two teeth. I've already grated. I use my little grater, and I grated the lemon uh, zest. And I had I got I did it ahead of time, and covered it with uh, wax paint. I mean, full um, saran wrap. Okay, it's two teaspoons. Put down in here. Okay, that's got now. That's the crust. Okay, now I'm going to put my. Back on again. I'm, um, uh, that, that's just to get that butter incorporated with your, um, graham crackers, and so I'm going to set this aside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill it and see if it feels damp enough. It don't feel like it got quite enough butter in it. Well, I made one yesterday, and it, it worked okay. So I guess, it, I guess it'll be okay. Uh, now I'm going to move this. Move all this out of the way. I miss my help this morning. <laughs> you think it does make a difference, but it does. So this is our, our, this is a deep dish pie plate. And I'm putting, got my, Okay, now let me get my spatula again. Put it all in here. I know y'all know how to make a graham cracker crust, but this uh, what's different about this is got the macadamia nuts in it. And I, I, I told you I have the oven turned on at uh, 375. And my hands are clean. I just got the washing just before I came on air. So I'm going to press it up against the walls. And move this out of my way. So Y'all can see. And I just, um, I'll tell you what I do. I kind of cheat a little bit on this, uh, pressing this. I know you can just press it and press it and press it and get it down in there firm. But what I do is I take, this is a nine inch pie plate, and I take another pie plate and I put it in there. It has to be a little bit smaller than what, you, what your pan that you're baking in. And I just press it with this. That way, some, you're not touching the crust, the uh, graham crackers, and you're uh, being able to press a little harder. And then I go all the way around the edges, pressing. That's just that's just what I do because I, uh, I want it packed good. So that crust will stick, you know, stick together, firm up. So I just, and this is just the way I do it. If y'all want to just mash it with your hands, that's fine. But I just kind of pack it like this. And then I have to do a little bit more to it when I, I've got to do that because that pie pan, 
I thought I had a smaller pie pan, the little aluminum, but I didn't. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and where it's real thick on the edges, I'm gonna kind of press it down. Cause you don't, if you don't, you're gonna have big lumps. I mean, thickness, big thickness on the edges. So now as I've done my pan, I'm, I go in and this, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if it's cause I poured that butter in the wrong thing and it made a little bit of difference in that butter or not, but this is really not, and I know, I, I've done this enough, I kind of know, this crust here. So don't make a mistake and pour your butter in the wrong <laughs> in the wrong container on the processor. I should have added another, about a half a teaspoon of butter to this. But it, it'll probably be okay. I did make another, I made one yesterday. It turned out okay. But this one, I, I know, it's just, it's like it doesn't have quite enough butter to stick. To make it stick but that's okay it'll it'll work I think once it's cooked incorporated that sugar I think it'll be fine but all right now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 12 minutes okay let me wash my hands and wipe this mess up here. Um, I hope y'all are having a, a wonderful day. I uh, I got up feeling really good this morning. You know, some days you're not, uh, maybe not feel as good as you do other days, but I really got up feeling good this morning. Um, okay, I'm going to get this out of my way, and I'm going to show you something else I do. While that's cooking, I'm gonna be, I'll do something else. And I'm gonna get this out of my way. Uh, I'm gonna come over here to the stove. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna come over here to the stove and show you what I do for the icing because I want it to, I want the, the, the meringue um, to fluff. And so I make a little, I call it gook. I don't know what anybody else calls it, but I'm gonna make a little gook and I want it to cool before I put it in my meringue. So, uh, where's my recipe book? I've done this hundreds of times, but it's two tablespoons of sugar. And my sugar is right here. Okay. I put two tablespoons of sugar in a, in a pan, in a boiler, and I put one tablespoon of cornstarch. And a half a cup of water. Out. You want to stir. You want to stir this uh, before you put it on the heat. This is um, because cornstarch has to be mixed in cold water. So it's um, a tablespoon of corn uh, cornstarch and two tablespoons of sugar. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna cook it on the stove. And I'm gonna cook it on the stove just to start turning kind of clear. It's gonna turn kind of clear. Um, and when it starts getting thick, it'll get clear. It, you may not call it clear, I call it clear. Uh, it's kind of a milky color, but you want it to, to boil. You want it to start getting thick. And then you take it off the stove, you, but you have to constantly stir it. But you take it off the stove because um, it will get really, it will get too thick. You don't want it to get um, thick like peanut butter. You don't want it, you just want it kind of, just a, a consistency of thickness. I'll show you when I get this done. I just, it, it and you have to constantly, constantly stir it because it will, it will get thick fast and it'll stick and, and not, and clump up. So you want to constantly stir it. 
and I've got my burner on high, which really it should be on medium. So I'm picking the boiler up a little bit so it won't be won't get thick too fast. You want that to cook just a little bit. I'm going to turn my burner off. And I put this in the meringue. But I want it to cool first. So it's just about there. You see, it doesn't take long. Okay. That is it. See? Because it'll thicken up some of the coos. So now I'm going to put this in a bowl of cold water. So just going to put me some... I don't... I, it doesn't have to be ice water. Just water out of the, the uh, faucet. Okay. And I'll just put that in there and let it cool while I start making the uh, filling. Now, um, what what it is, this um, crust, it needs to cool. And I forgot to set my timer. I probably had that I probably had that in there. I'm going to clear clear my little timer here. And um I I'm going to put it for for 11 minutes for my crust because um I forgot to set it when I put the when I put the crust in there and I probably haven't done 3 minutes. So, I'm going to set it for 11 minutes for my crust. And uh now, now I will make my pie filling. The only thing about it, um, and I, I hesitated. I started to make the crust ahead of time because that crust does need to cool before you put this in here. But I'm going to just kind of slowly, <laughs> slowly um, make the filling. But you also want to put your meringue on top of the pie filling while the pie filling is hot. If you don't, your pie's going to, your meringue is not going to stick to your pie. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the frosting. So, uh, I've got my egg whites. It takes, it takes uh, five eggs, but I put an extra one in here. The reason is because I broke one of my yellows, and so I couldn't, uh, just a bare little, little bit of the white went in there. So I didn't put the, I didn't put the, the extra egg yolk in the, in the pie, but I did the, uh, on the frosting. So I will get my stuff out for the frosting, and I'm going to use another one of our new tools, and that is the mixer. Okay, let me get it back over here. Okay, this is the this is the same this is the same handle that we use on the processor that we're going to use on this mixer here. On this, it just clamps down in there. I don't know why. I uh, I had a problem. Won't go get this in here, and it's not hard. I think it's just a, a little clumsy. I'm a little clumsy. Okay, let's do it this way. Hey, you know what? That's what it was. Okay. For all you that uses this, let me tell you. This right here handle has to be going down before it will fit into here. And I just figured that out. It's the reason I was having a hard time doing it. I had this turned up like this. But it has to be pointing the same direction as your mixers. And this, this are the mixer... Um, blades and I'll, I'll let me show you something else too uh this it has a writing right here that tells you which way the blades goes in there there is a difference so be sure and look because one of them has got a little ring around it and it has to go in that hole so all right now uh, this takes um uh, i'm gonna put my cream of tartar already in my in my uh, in my whites before I start beating them. It takes five minutes to do the filling. That's why I'm doing this frost meringue first. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and put the filling in the pie crust not long after I get it out because uh, I have another one 
uh, I posted it on my other page yesterday so you can see how it looks whenever I cut it. Okay, the meringue takes a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. I got a half a teaspoon somewhere here. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay, now here we go. Uh, and this one you have to mash the button here. It's gonna take a few minutes to do this and I know the noise. I'm gonna pull, pull it back a little bit so the noise won't be so, so it won't be so loud. I'm just stripping up this. Uh, I know you probably can't hear me if I try to talk over it, so I'm just going to try to get this beat. putting a pinch of salt, a pinch of salt. I'm going to put about two tablespoons at a time of sugar. teaspoon of flavoring in there before I finish eating it and um, I could have had this already done because I know y'all know how to do and I went and put and I was going um,
Now I'm gonna add that uh, goop that I just made. So I'm gonna put it right there. See how the thickness once it gets cool? So that's cool. Now I'm just gonna put all this in here. We're going to beat it some more. And then I just mash this button to release the beers. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Okay. All right. Now, if, if you're in tight places or if you're camping or something, those, those battery op, uh, operated um, mixer and processor and, and the hand blender is just great. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way because we're through with our frosting. And our pie should be about ready. Yep, it's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven now. There goes my buzzard. See? And I have a, I have a rack over here. I'm gonna put it on. Now I've turned my oven to 350 now, because that's gonna be for the meringue. So I'm gonna cut. Cool it down to 150, and I'm going to move that pie off of the stove so that uh, the heat of the stove is going to keep it warm. But I'm going to I'm going to let it sit up here and cool for a few minutes. It's supposed to cool completely, but uh, let me turn this off. Okay, turn my little timer off, and. Uh, now I'm going to be doing the filling. All right, and I and I do this in the microwave. You can stand it at the stove and stir and stir, but with this pie, you have to stay there and constantly stir. You cannot walk away from it. So I'm eliminating the stove over the stove, and I'm doing it uh, in the microwave. So uh, I start out with my dry ingredients. One and a fourth cups of sugar. And uh, a half a teaspoon of salt. Well, uh, where's my little bowl of salt? Here it is. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna guess this, a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using unsalted butter. Now, if you use salted butter, you don't put that extra salt in here. Okay, and a third a cup of cornstarch. And I stir that around. And I add two cups of water. This is not a cream pie. You use water, not milk. And you stir it around. Now, I put go ahead and put my um, grated lemon in here. And like I said, I've already grated the lemon. What did I do with it?
Well, I've got a gravy lemon. Here it is. Because I, I done all this ahead of time, I forget where I put something. So I put a tablespoon of grated lemon in here. And like I said, I've already grated the lemon, uh, the zest. One tablespoon. I just grated it in this little bowl. It took, I think it took about four lemons to get this uh, lemon zest. Okay, so that's a tablespoon. And I got a little bit in the bowl, it's not much. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. I want this to cook in the, in the microwave. I want this lemon to go ahead and cook. Not the lemon juice. I put the lemon juice in there last. I want the lemon zest in there to cook. And I just stir it up good. And then I put it in the microwave and microwave it two minutes. Okay. Okay, while well, that's uh, microwave, and then I will take uh, my egg yolks, which, I, like I said, I uh, separated them this morning, and I'll use my little, my little egg beater here and uh, whip them up real good. You know, uh, like I said, I, I used five eggs in the frost in the meringue but I did not put well no I used six eggs in the meringue and only five yolks I'm gonna stir that up good because I'm going to be taking some of the hot filling and putting it in here and tempering it and then putting it all in there and cooking it another two minutes okay so um, and then that be butter I'll put that butter in there last, and I will put the lemon juice in there last. Oh, there, there's the lemon juice right there. Okay. I really do know how to, to do this without Linda, but it sure does help <laughs> to have her. Um, I got up this morning thinking about, you know, some days, and I'm sure there's, there's a lot of you out there that can relate to what I'm talking about. You know, uh, we all Christians, we all love the Lord, and... Um, but someday, sometimes you go through periods where you pray and you just don't feel like um, that the Lord, you just don't feel that closeness of the Lord. You know he hears you. You know he's good to you. You keep thanking him every day. But um, sometimes you just kind of in a, a valley and for no reason. It's just that you just don't have that closeness that you normally have of uh, the feeling. And, uh, and then... Uh, and then on those days that you just feel over close and, and the Lord is so precious to you, you just treasure those days. I got up this morning feeling that way, just feeling that closeness, the sweetness of the Lord. And I just love those days because it makes my whole day just wonderful. Okay, so my feeling has stopped. This is my feeling here. And again, I use my whisk. I'm going to whisk it up again. Stir it up real good. It has not, I'll show it, this has not started getting thick. See, it's still, it's quite liquid. It is, it is not uh, getting thick, but that's okay. So now I'm going to take, I need to get something to put my blood. This is where I had that covered. I'm going to put that on that cell phone there. Uh, I'm going to get me a spoon. And I'm going to take a little bit of this hot liquid, kind of get the eggs so you're not cooking your eggs when you put it in this hot. I think I'm going to use this. This will be a little easier, get a little bit more. So I'm warming the eggs a little bit, not cooked, not, not hot, just warming. And I think that's probably enough. And I'm going to... Uh, now, to pour it in here, 
I'm gonna stir it as I put it. Just the eggs into this hot um, water, sugar, and cornstarch. Get all the egg out of there. My sweet Linda, she had to go to the dentist today. You know, that's part of life. You have to take care of what God give you. Okay, so I'm gonna get this, put that on that cellophane, and I'm gonna put this back in the microwave for two more minutes and it will get thick this time. Okay, we'll wait on that. Um, and then when it comes out of the microwave this time, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be putting three tablespoons of soft butter. I've had this butter out just on the countertop, so it's kind of soft. And, um, and then the uh, half a cup of lemon juice. Now the lemon juice, I squeezed that out this morning also, so y'all didn't have to watch me do that. So I'm going to get a cup, and I will, I'm gonna strain it. I, I think I got all the seeds out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna strain it extra. So I don't want it to be no, let's see, it's a half a cup. I want to make sure I don't overdo it. Okay, now I see it. A little bit more. It, it did have a, a little bitty, a few little bitty seeds in it. And that's perfect. <laughs> that was four, four um, medium-sized lemons. And that was perfect. That's a half a cup. So when it comes out, what I do... Um, I put this lemon juice in there and I cook it in, in the microwave another 25 seconds. Not long. I don't want to cook this lemon flavor out of it. Then when I take it out of the microwave, I put the butter. That's the last thing I do. And that's, like I said, five minutes on this filling and you've got, you've got uh, a good lemon pie filling. So, like just a few more seconds. So as I was just saying, I just, I'm praising the Lord this morning because I feel good for one thing. And um, it just, uh, just makes me, you know, sometimes when we get in these ruts, and I've thought about this, and I've, and I've tried to do it too, is just try to change your routine up. If the first thing you do after you say your prayers and read the Bible is to watch the news, just forget the news one morning and walk outside and, um, and smell the fresh air and maybe take a walk or just change your routine up a little bit and sometimes that helps a little bit i've tried all kinds of things because i don't like getting in little ruts <laughs> okay this is our filling i'm gonna see if i can get it a little bit closer now that i don't have that mixer on so y'all can see better see how it's thick. It's thick. It's just got a little bit of juice in it. But we're going to stir it up. Mmm, that smells good. See? All right, now I'm going to put this lemon juice in there. A half a cup of lemon juice. That kind of cools it down, too. But I'm going to cook it. 25 seconds more after I get all this stirred up. I just want to, I think the biggest reason that I cook it that other 25 seconds, that's just, that didn't say that in the recipe. Matter of fact, the recipe was to cook it on the stove, but um, I don't cook them on the stove anymore. So, because it takes so much longer and you have to stand there and sometimes it'll scorch if you don't. So I just, I'm using my same method as I do my cream pies. I just do it in the microwave. Okay. Okay, now, you might not have to put this in the, in the microwave for another 25 seconds, but I am because um, it, um, I want it to cook just a, just a hair more. Okay, that's 25 seconds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test my crust. It's 
cooling off some. It's cooling off some. It says cool it for about 20 minutes, but I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna cool it 20 minutes because I'm not gonna let you make y'all wait that long. But I'm gonna do my last step here, and we'll be finished with our delicious macadamia nut crusted meringue pie. Okay. And these bows are microwavable. <laughs> I guess you found that. Yeah, didn't tell you that. Okay, that's three tablespoons of butter. Wipe my hands off. And I'm gonna stir it again with the whisk to that to the butter melts. And I, I will tell y'all, when you get it out this time, the 25 seconds like you do this, you're gonna you're gonna think that this uh, filling has gotten thinner beca um, because we added that lemon juice and cooked it a little bit more. Don't worry about it. It will thicken up. I promise. I kind of worried about that a little bit yesterday because, like I said, I I was going by a recipe, an old recipe that where you cooked it. You know, I believe that um, the old recipes. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, they use, their measurements was a little different, especially about the eggs. And um, so, sometimes you have to, may have to do a little extra of your own input on it. Okay, so that's the filling. Now, I'm through with that. And like I said, I'm not going to hop off the pie over here um, so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way. Um, remove my book. This is our new bow scraper. And I think that this is, um, it's, the pie crust is cooled off. I will tell you, in these, in these new pie dishes, they're stone and they may stay hot a little longer uh, than the aluminum pans or different Pyrex pan. So it might take a little bit longer to cool this off, but I'm not going to wait because I do know that it's going to work anyway. I just won't be able to cut this and show you. That's why I made one yesterday. Okay, so now I'm going to, and this bowl doesn't have a handle, and I'm used to having a handle, so I'm going to do my best not pull this out. I'm going to use my bowl scraper. This bow scraper works good. I love that. Okay. It's about like a spatula, but it just it just kind of fits the curve of your bowl. So there we go. That's our lemon filling. Now I'm going to I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my uh, meringue on it now. And I'm gonna tell you, um, you know, my sister, I, I guess she knows best because she always uses an egg separator. I just never have, and I really never had that much problem with getting my uh, cracking my yellow into my whites. I've never really had that problem, but I had it yesterday and I had it again this morning. I should have learned yesterday um, and uh, and done them separate. I didn't. So my frosting did not, yours will turn out better, but if you don't get an egg, a little bit of egg yellow yolk in there. And I did. I'll be honest with you. And I started to pour it out and start over. But I didn't have but four more eggs. So I was afraid that I might need them. So my frosting didn't puff up because uh, that egg, that yellow in there. I know that's what it was. But anyway, that is the pie. And I will put it in the oven. And when you're, put, when you're putting frosting... When you're putting frosting on a um, pie, you need to um, 
Take it all the way to the edges. All right. So now you need to cook this at 350 for 14 to 15 minutes. So let me set my timer. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to show you what this pie looks like. Okay. So, uh, okay, 14 minutes. Fourteen and say go. And I'll keep it up there. Let me move this rack out of the way. And I I put this pie in the uh, refrigerator last night. I don't think you would have had to, but I did. And uh, if you put it in the refrigerator, be sure to put a cover on it because you don't want to put foil or, or wax paper or something. I mean, uh, saran wrap because of your frosting. Okay, here's my pie. Let me move this off the counter so you can see better. This is my pie. See how it cut? So when you think that that's too thick, I mean too thin, it doesn't. I'm going to cut a piece out of it and show you uh, how it comes out. Plate. Boy, I, I, I'm telling you, I'm noisy in the kitchen. Y'all figure that out already. I thought it was my pie, a pie slicer, and uh, and I forgot to get it out, so I'm using my pie slicer, and I'm gonna cut a piece. Be sure you cut all the way down to the crust because that crust is thick. And your little pie slicer here is shredded. Okay. And there's your macadamian crusted nut, um, my meringue pie and I know that I've been watching what I've been trying to watch what I eat and I've done pretty good but I'll be honest with you I did eat a piece of this pie yesterday <laughs> I just because I did it with the microwave and I know it calls for the to do it on the stove and I just wanted to make sure that this was going to work before I told y'all uh, I you know I've been making cream pies for years but I don't think I've ever made a lemon one in the microwave I have on top of the stove there it is. See your crust? See that thick? The, using this deep dish pie plate, it makes a nice crust. Makes a nice deep crust. And I hope that y'all have a great day. And it and not since I've got two pies, you know, I'll have to share. So I'll be sharing my pie today with some lovely people that I love so much. And I hope that y'all count your blessings. And if you're in a rut, just change your schedule. It don't have to be nothing drastic, you know. Just change it up and and um, and just do something different. And it might make you feel a little bit better. You know, everybody has their own way. But that's, I just, um, I, I change up my r morning routine sometimes. So, I just want y'all to count your blessings. I, we love all y'all. We miss Linda this morning. I'm just lost without her. But, um she has been so good to me and helping me out so many times when I wasn't feeling right. And I, I want to tell you, I never have told y'all this, but y'all have all noticed when, a year ago when we first started doing these videos, I couldn't even put a shoe on my foot because uh, my foot, my left foot was swollen all the time. And I mean, I still have pain in that foot because I got spurs on it. But now, um, since I've been trying to eat healthier, uh, I don't know if you can tell it or not. You probably can't tell it, but I got shoes on. I've been wearing shoes for several weeks now. Well, not several weeks, but a couple weeks for sure. So I can get my shoes on my feet. My foot has completely, the swelling has completely gone down. I'm not sure 
I'm not sure what it is that I was eating that I shouldn't have been eating. But anyway, I just thank the Lord. Them little small things like that, it means a lot. When you your foot hurts so bad you can't even put a shoe on. So that's just one of the things that I'm thankful for today. So find something in your life that you can thank the Lord for that maybe that you just kind of slipped by and just, you know, kind of forgot to say, Lord, I thank you for that. Have a good day. Go to our other site, and I will be on today also on my other page, and I'll be doing a drawing. And um, I, uh, like Linda, and on my other page, we appreciate all of y'all's support. Y'all are just so nice to us. I just wish we could just hug. That was another thing I got up thinking about this morning. I just think that, you know, all the people that we communicate with and talk with and, and y'all comment, even if we don't talk to you, we read your comments. And it just makes me this morning, I just wanted to hug all of y'all. And I know right now it's not a good time to be hugging, but I just wanted to hug all y'all and tell y'all how much you mean to us. We just appreciate it so much. But I want y'all to count your blessings. And we will be, Linda and I both will be back together again cooking on our videos on Thursday. We'll be back together at her house. So come and join us and, and have a blessed day. And every day in between. Love y'all. Bye-bye.